Spreads, totals, props. Lots of ways to win money, but also lots of ways to lose. It's time for some sharp analysis. All sports, all over the globe, all the time. Home of the guest better jackpot, it's Corbett's. Here is your host, Dylan Corbett. All right, welcome in. Monday edition of Corbett's. As Zach Kelly went down, so the jackpot continuing up to 36 bucks. Remember, we gave it away at 36 bucks. First jackpot, Al Dolson went seven straight days positive, but again, that was 36 days. This go around, I've been putting two bucks in every single day, so we're about halfway there to where we hit the first one. We've got Ty Dolson giving another shot here. Ty joining me. I'm Dylan Corbett again. Matthew Cruz is not with us again. We I was super tired last night. He can only record at night, but we're going to get him back on. Uh, for Corbett's, of course, and then Corbett's Corner will be kind of scheduling update. We'll be doing mostly football on Mondays. Uh, it dropped today, of course, as well. We played Rate the Take, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we'll do college basketball pretty heavy on Wednesdays. So that's a little programming information. Ty, going with the one play, um, trying to go seven straight days positive. What'd you go? Two, three, four? I can't remember. What's your record before? Uh, I believe I've done two or three, right? Yeah, yeah I believe I've done three but um i'm sure al can uh go back and document it all he knows how far i went i don't know exactly but uh, the goal is to hopefully get uh the al dalson um yes you, you, you want to join the the club the hall of famers club uh we'll get to your one play i'll just rip off mine i've got seven uh one in football one in soccer a little afternoon and then the rest college hoops all right starting with soccer um i am going to la liga which i've actually been pretty solid at lately i'm getting back to the mean about 500 so far since we started core bets uh going with the home team here real batiste uh just short and simple it's minus 120 I got them at minus 117, not bad there. And um, their record may not look as great. They're a 4 16 welcoming in a 2 and 14. But when Batiste has been favored, they are 4 0 straight up. So they are favored again. So I will hope to cash that. Okay, so let's get to college hoops. BC 1 and 1 this year in college men's basketball, 2 and 0 against the number. They've got St. John's, Jay Heath, who didn't play against URI. They still won that game. He's coming back. So I like them against the Johnnies. BC, I got them in a pick em. Um, Texas State, you you brought this up, uh, Ty, how Mississippi State's absolutely just in shambles with their program. Uh, they're rolling two, so I'll go with Texas State. Uh, Texas State, a surprising two and zero on the year. They are getting plus six and a half. I'm on Wyoming less minus six and a half. We cash them in their season opener. Let's go back to the well there under new head coach Jeff Lindor. Uh, Bama, this is going to be a good one. Stanford, their season debut. I don't think they're very good. Bama's already one and zero. Short number delay here, minus one and a half. Uh, I love this Nevada team. They're minus four against Pacific. I cash Nevada against the Huskers. Going back for more here, Nevada minus four. Uh, before I get to my NFL football play here, we've got Monday night football, Tuesday night football, fingers crossed, right? Um, but let's go with college hoops, your official play tie. So, yeah, I'm only going one play. Normally I have just an arsenal of plays. Uh, however, hopefully for the core bets, day one, let's stick with one play. Um, I am going to go Indiana minus a half in the first half against Providence. So that game tips off at 1.30 in the Maui Invitational. They're not playing in Maui. They're playing in uh, North Carolina, uh, currently watching the Texas uh, Davidson game as we are recording this. But um, I think that Indiana is just a better team. They have a lot of depth. They're returning a lot of guys. Providence lost a lot of guys, mm -hmm. um, I believe. I don't have the exact number off the top of my head here. Uh, yeah, they lost Alpha, Diallo, Luane Pipkins, Malik White, and Khalif Young all to graduating. So they were a very, very um, – oh, I mean, they, they had a lot of seniors on the team. They got decimated, yeah. Correctly. And um, so I'm thinking that Indiana can come out and hopefully uh, – get off to a quick lead here, especially with having the amount of guys that they do uh, returning. And they have the big five-star recruit coming back. Official play there. Guess better. Uh, Ty Dawson with Indiana minus a half. Just got to win by a point. Be winning 
uh, by the end of the first horn there, the first 20 minutes. Uh, I got burned last night in uh, the Bears. I was on the Bears. I was on the under two, but actually I had a pretty solid NFL day. I ended up winning about three units. Uh, burn me again, why don't you, NFL? Because I'm on the home dog. I think it's too many points. I've got uh, Philadelphia plus six and a half. Matt Cruzan also grabbed that number as well. He texted in. Uh, to Corbett. So we're both on the Eagles. Uh, Ty, this isn't an official play by any means, but do you have a lean of any sorts in Monday night? I, I got a lean on Seattle, and the reason why is, is I think – Primetime Car- Russ. Yeah, yeah. One, primetime Russ. Second thing is uh, Carson Wentz, if he starts to perform poorly, they're going to put in Jalen Hurts. Yeah. And obviously Jalen Hurts hasn't had much time besides kind of running out of the Wildcats or whatever Doug Peterson's have him. Go! I think this is just a huge. Um, I think th- this is just a huge uh, primetime game for him. Uh, yeah, Philly needs a win to, in order to stay relevant. Uh, I think they're a half game behind right now because of that tie. Uh, they yeah. just have the lead, but I I don't know. I just can't bet against Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson in prime time. And what is good though for Jalen Hurts if he does end up coming in because Carson's not playing well as Seattle secondary is not like the Seattle secondary we've seen. So maybe Jalen Hurts can get a little confidence going, pick him apart a little bit, and maybe you guys do cash your six and a half for my lean as Seattle. The tie heard around the world, right, between the Eagles and the Bengals from way back when. Here's just a stat for you. Again, you're just leaning Seahawks. I'm on the Eagles. I might take the Eagles money line. I'm feeling a little spontaneous, and here's why. The Seahawks have lost three straight road games, okay? Straight up, they've lost three straight road games. Now, it's the Cardinals, the Rams, and the Bills, but, again, three straight road games. Uh, The Eagles have won two straight home games. How about that? Uh, Six and a half points, that's kind of my lean there. Uh, Again, I hate Carson Wentz. I think he's terrible, but maybe a little Cinderella story if Hurts does get the majority of the snaps and maybe gives Eagles some hope. Eagles fans some hope who knows all right so that'll do it for core bets you've got my seven plays there including finishing up with the Eagles tonight plus six and a half official guest better play we have got Indiana against Providence Indiana the Hoosiers minus a half there in the first half so get in get out with a little afternoon cash and we'll hope to see Ty tomorrow for day two Ty thanks for joining us again thank you all right let's cash